Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's video, I'm showing you guys how to get any color duffel bag inside of director mode and bring it online. All right, you can get the green duffel bag, the old school green uh, duffel bag, the black duffel bag, all the camo ones, and any duffel bag. All right, you can get any one you want. All right. Uh, this glitch isn't hard, uh, but to make this glitch a lot easier, you could do the frozen mask glitch. Um, if you don't know how to do it, I'll link it in the description. Alright, if you don't know how to do the frozen mask glitch, if you do, you can just uh, continue on watching this video. But um, yeah, you don't have to do the frozen mask glitch, but it makes the glitch a lot easier and um, a lot more simple. And you can also get uh, multiple outfits and then do the multiple outfits glitching. You, you can bring online. Uh, tons of uh, duffel bags all right just to make the glitch a lot more easy and a lot more simple all right but uh, the first thing you want to do completely close your game and then load into story mode all right once you're in story mode just go into director mode either through your pause menu or your interaction menu all right now once you're inside of here just go into actors then go down to online characters and then shortlist your online character one or two, male or female, they both work, alright? Then go to actors, animals, and you want to shortlist a bird, alright? The, the birds that work are the chicken hawk, alright? This bird right here, this bird works too. The crow, the hen doesn't work, alright guys, so don't use the hen. The pigeon works, and the seagull works, okay? These are the birds that work, alright? I'm gonna use the chicken hawk in the video as an example, but you can use any of those, alright? Then you just shortlist the bird, then go into shortlist actors and make sure you have both your online character and your bird inside of your shortlist. Alright. Alright, see they're both in there. Now you simply just want to exit to story mode. Now once you get inside of story mode, you simply just want to create a game save. So pull up your phone, go to a quick save, and then simply just make a quick save. And then just accept the alert. Now, once you've done that, you simply just want to close your game. So press your PSN button, press options on GTA, and then just reload Grand Theft Auto and then load online. I'll get back to you guys once I load online. Now, once you guys get online, if you guys are inside of a garage or a house like me, just simply go outside. Now, guys, if you guys could drop a like on this video, that would mean the world to me. I usually don't ask for likes at the beginning of my videos or in the middle of my videos. I always ask for them at the end. But um, this is actually my third time making the video because I've messed up three times. But um, yeah, just make your way over to any clothing store and I'll get back to you guys once I get to a clothing store. Now, once you guys get to a clothing store, all you simply want to do is just go up to the front desk and you want to equip a standard outfit, okay? Any standard outfit works, alright? But the stoop and the effortless work the best, alright? I'm using the effortless in the video as an example, but you can use any standard outfit, okay? But the stoop and the effortless work the best, alright? Now, once you equip it, just simply um, take everything off the face of the outfit. So, like, just put on a, a rebreather and then just take it off. And now once you've done that, all you simply want to do is go to your, inside of your interaction menu, go to uh, hide options, and then make sure it's set to custom, right? Make sure the jobs is set to custom. Now you simply just want to open your map and then see if you have any blue jobs, right? If you don't have any uh, blue jobs on your map, you simply just want to find a new session, okay? So just back out, press your pause menu, go over to online, and then just find a new session. I'll, I'll get back to you guys once I find a new session.
Now, once you guys have found a new session, if you're inside a garage or a house like me again, you simply just want to uh, get out. Now, once you're outside, you simply just want to open up your map and then see if you have any blue jobs, all right? As you can see, I have blue jobs on my map. Now, again, if you don't have any blue jobs again, just simply find a new session, all right? But once you got the blue job, you simply just want to start up this parachuting job, okay? So again, if you don't have any blue jobs on your map, just keep finding sessions until you do have blue jobs on your map, all right? Now, once you get inside the job, confirm on the settings, and then once you confirm on the settings, just go into confirm settings, and then go to play. All right, it's gonna give you an alert, just accept the alert to play on your own. Now, once you spawn in here, just simply ready up. And now, follow what I do in the video because you're not gonna complete this job as normal, okay? So once the time runs out, all you simply want to do is press square to dive out. Alright, once you've dived out, you simply just want to go to the first checkpoint. Right before you hit it, you want to pull your parachute. Alright, then you simply just want to level yourself up with the, with the checkpoint. Then hit, hit the checkpoint, and then open up your phone, and then just quit the mission. Okay, now you're going to spawn in an online session, and I'll get back to you guys once you spawn in. Now, once you spawn in, you simply just want to open up your weapon wheel and then see if you have two parachutes, okay? As you can see, I have two parachutes. Alright, if you don't have two parachutes, you simply just want to close your game and then redo this part, okay? But once you got that, all you simply want to do is just either request a oppressor or a helicopter, okay? They both work, but the oppressor works the best. Okay, now you simply just want to fly, uh, fly up uh, like a decent height. It doesn't have to be that high, but just fly up like a decent height. Then once you once you're at a nice height, you simply just want to jump off, and then you simply just want to pull your parachute. And now you simply want to open up your interaction menu, go down a style, and then you simply just want to go into any saved outfit, okay? And you just want to hover over that saved outfit. All right. Now, once your character lands, okay, and your character takes off the first sleeve of the parachute, just simply equip the outfit, okay? Now, once you've done this, all you simply want to do. Is head over to any time trial, okay? So just look on the map and see where the time trial is, and then go to that time trial. I'll get back to you guys once I get to the time trial. Now, once you guys have made it to the time trial, all you simply want to do is get inside of any pedestrian vehicle, or it can be your vehicle. Just make sure you can start up the time trial. Now, again, if you're watching this video at a later time, the time trial might have moved, so just go to the time trial you have right now. All right. Now you simply just want to start up the time trial, then go to online, then go to leave GT online. You simply just want to leave it. I'll get back to you guys once I spawn in story mode. Now, once you spawn in, all right, let me just clear something up. You don't need to get a phone call, all right? A lot of you guys say that you guys don't get a phone call or if you guys could call someone and then just hang up the phone. All right, you don't need to get a phone call, okay? A lot of you guys are having trouble with this. You guys are saying that you guys don't get phone calls. All right, you don't need to get a phone call, all right? Because um, a lot of you guys say that this glitch isn't working for you and stuff like that. But um, if you do get a phone call, just decline it. If you don't get a phone call, it's fine, alright? It doesn't matter if you get a phone call or not, alright? But if you do get a phone call, again, just decline it. If you don't get a phone call, it's fine. Just go straight into direct them out, alright? Either through your pause menu or your interaction menu, okay? It doesn't matter. Now, once you guys spawn inside of the director mode casting trailer, just go into shortest actors. And you simply just want to go back and forth between your online character and your bird until your character does go on top of the hay bell. Alright, this does take a while, okay? For me, it takes up to 25 minutes. Alright, that's like, you know, the range where everybody gets it. For some people, you guys say that it takes longer for you guys. But, um, my, my range is 25 minutes. Alright, you can either rubber band your controller and then just leave it like that. But, I'll get back to you guys once my guy goes on top of the hay bell. Now, once your character goes on top of the hay ball, all you want to do is simply go between your online character and your bird for like 30 seconds just to make sure that your character stays on the hay ball, okay? Because your character likes to um, go back to the casting trailer, so like, 
you just keep doing this back and forth until your character stays on the hay wheel. Okay, he has to stay on the hay wheel. It's very important for the glitch. All right, but once you've done it for around 30 seconds, just go to your bird and then check if he goes back. If he doesn't go back like my character, you simply just want to press triangle to remove your bird. And then you simply just want to back out, go go into actors, go to beach bums, and then click on any of the selections. And as you can see, now we have modded outfits. All right. Um, now you simply just want to go between all the selections for at least 30 seconds just to make sure that they don't change back to no normal people. Now once you get them done, you simply just want to go in any selection and then find your Christmas mask if you're going to freeze the mask or uh, you know just use any mask okay and or find the duffel bag inside of here. So this is the part where you can freeze the mask, find the duffel bag or if you don't want to freeze the mask just find a duffel bag with the Christmas mask. But um, yeah if you also have a helmet on, uh, the helmet also uh, transfers over, also the glasses alright so, so that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, um, and you can also do the multiple outfits glitch, so I'll leave all those videos in the description if you guys don't know how to do them. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to freeze the mask and then get a couple outfits with the duffel bag. So I'll get back to you guys once I've gotten my outfits. Alright guys, these are the two outfits that I got. I got the black open duffel bag and I got the green duffel bag. I don't know if it's open or closed, but um... Yeah, uh, this is the two outfits that I got. I could have got more, but um, I just got these two just for the video, just to make the video a lot faster. But um, yeah, uh, you guys can get any color. Remember, you can get the camo, white, any color. All right. Now, the reason why I don't have a helmet on on these outfits is because I actually messed up the glitch. So I, I actually had to do the glitch all over again. I got I got blue screen on my game crash. It was my second time recording the video, or actually my third time. Sorry, but. Um, yeah, just uh, go inside with the duffel bag that you want to get. Now, once you're inside of here, you simply just want to run around for at least the thir 30 seconds. All right. Now, this is very important. All right. This um, decreases your chance of your game crashing and you getting blue screened. All right. So you can even walk up to you know, um, you know, like three minutes, and it'll decrease your chance of getting blue screened even more. All right. But this is very important. All right, because if you don't uh, run around and you just leave as soon as you get inside of director mode, you have a really high chance of your game crashing and you getting blue screened. So again, just run around for a little bit of time, and then um, you know you have a really low chance of your game crashing, and then you don't have to do this all over again. Okay, but um, once you've done that, you simply just want to open up your interaction menu, then go to quit director mode, and then you should spawn inside of story mode with the wanted outfit. If you don't. Um, and your game crashes, you will need to do it all over again. But if you had one of the stick masks, then um, you, you can just go back in and get them. All right, now from here, you could run around for another uh, 30 seconds or 10 seconds. All right, uh, but once you've done that, you simply just want to pull up your phone and then you simply want to create a quick save. Okay, this is for all the guys that say that their outfits don't save. All right, now if you guys do this but your outfits still don't save, I'll show you another trick in a little bit on how to make them save even more. Okay, so just make a quick save. All right, a lot of you guys say that this still doesn't work and characters still don't stay, but I'll show you another trick right now. All right, now you simply just want to press your pause menu, go over to online, go to play GT online, and then go to invite only session. All right, and then just start it up and then accept the alert. All right, now once your screen freezes, all right, you simply just want to press your PSN button, go down, go to the right, go down, and then you simply want to accept the Izzy job. All right, if the Izzy job isn't there, then just go into uh, your recent activities and then join a playlist okay if you guys don't know uh, how to make a playlist or join a playlist I'll link a video um, in the description I right, just watched my other video but um, once you've done that your screen should flicker and then you should get this live tile alert okay this is the alert that you want to get feel to connect to the live tile content and return a grand thought of five this is what you want to get all right once you get this alert you simply just want to accept it and then you should load into story mode all right now if you guys um, want to make sure 100% that your outfits save Okay, and for you guys that are having problems with the saving, once you get inside of story mode again, this story mode, just make another quick save, alright? This is for you guys that, uh, you know, are, ha are having problems with the other quick save and it's not working, just make another quick save right now, alright? If you, if you get a phone call, it's fine, just decline it. If you don't, okay, it doesn't matter, alright? Let me just get that clear, it doesn't matter if you get a phone call or not, alright? But now, once you've done this, you simply just want to press your PSN button and then you simply want to close your game and then you simply just want to load online. 
I'll get back to you guys once I load online. Now, if you guys get the display calibration alert, you guys simply just want to uh, close your app. Okay, don't don't accept the alert. Just close your application, and then now just load back online. Okay, if you keep getting the alert, um, it's fine. Just keep closing your application so you can load online. All right. So, I'll get back to you guys once I load online. Now, if you guys get this alert right here, right, as you spawn online, it's fine, okay? All right, all you wanna do is just don't accept the alert. All you wanna do is just close your app, so press your PSN button, press Option GTA, and then just close it, and then reload Grand Theft Auto, but load into story mode, okay? Don't load online because you'll just get the same alert over and over again. So just load into story mode. I'll get back to you guys once I load into story mode. Now, once you guys learn the story mode, if you spawn all glitched out, like me, it's fine. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Alright, just uh, press your pause menu, and then go to game, and you want to start up a fresh game. Okay, this is a game that doesn't have any modded outfits or anything. So, go into game, go to load game, and start up a game that doesn't have any modded outfits or doesn't have any modded features on it. It's just, you know, a regular game, okay? Just start up a regular game. If you guys don't have one, um, just before, before you do this glitch, just start up a new game, and then just create a game save, alright? If you're still confused, I'll leave some steps in the description, but I'll get back to you guys once my game loads. Now, once you guys load into that game, all you simply want to do is press your pause menu, go over to online, then go down to play GTA online, and then you simply just want to go into an invite only session. I'll get back to you guys once I spawn to an invite only session. Now, once you guys spawn into an invite only session, you can see, guys, I have the duffel bag. All right, this is how you get the outfit online. Now, if you don't spawn in with the duffel bag. All you simply want to do is just uh, um, become a CEO, VIP, or Morisau Club. All right, any of those three work. And then you simply just want to go into management style, and then just switch the outfit once to the left, and then back to the right. And then your character should be bald, and then you should get the uh, duffel bag. All right. If you still don't get the duffel bag, then that means the duffel bag was actually glitched onto the body armor. If you guys want me to teach you, or if you guys want me to find out a way to check if the if the if the duffel bag is glitched under the body armor, just let, let, me, let me know in the comments and I'll try to find a way. But um, yeah, other than that, all you simply want to do is just head over to any clothing store to save the outfit, because saving the duffel bag is a little tricky because you can't just save it in a clothing store or it doesn't let you. But I'll, I'll get back to you guys once I get to the mask store. Now, once you guys use that mask door, all you simply want to do is just fly over here to the ocean. It could either be with the oppressor or a chopper, it doesn't matter, both work. Alright, but you simply just want to fly up to the mask door. Now, once you get close to it, you simply just want to jump off, and then you simply want to pull your parachute, and now you simply want to level yourself up with the mask door, okay? So just uh, hold L1 and R1, I think on Xbox it's LT and RB or something like that. But um, now you simply just want to level yourself up with the mask door. And then you simply want to crash into the mask door, and then as your character is uh, getting up, you simply want to spam right on the D-pad to go inside the mask door. Alright, now once you're inside the mask door, you simply just want to press square to go into saved outfits. Alright, then once you do that, you simply want to save it in an empty slot, or a slot that uh, you don't care about, okay? So like an outfit slot that you don't care about, and then just back out, and then open up your interaction menu, then just equip the outfit. Alright, now if your character is bald like my character, um, just simply go into um, 
accessories so open up, open up open your interaction menu and then go into style accessories and then equip your breather and then take it off all right and then as you can see the hair is back but um yeah that's been the video if you guys uh did like this glitch please leave a like on this video um subscribe to my channel and then comment what other video you guys want me to see and do okay i will i will see um all the comments that you guys want me to make and uh, i will make all those videos all right but other than that um this has been the glitch and I actually do have a monitor account for sale. I have it in the description. And I am also selling helmets. So what any color helmets that you guys want me to make, um, hit me up on Instagram. I will leave it in the description, and I'll show you guys how to do that. But yeah, other than that, this has been the glitch. Um, it's not that hard, but it's not that simple. But yeah, this has been the glitch. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.